Welcome to part two, health and hygiene. What is biological contamination? How does food worker health affect safety? What should you do when you're sick? What does good personal hygiene mean? Find the answers to these and other important food safety questions, including proper hand washing and when it's important, how to minimize bare hand contact with ready to eat foods, glove use, and how personal habits can affect food safety. Of all the types of hazards that can arise from unsafe food handling practices, biological contamination is the most common. Germs are everywhere, and some of them make us sick. It's those harmful pathogens that cause foodborne illness. Food worker health is one of the most important factors to preventing foodborne illness. It's simple. When you're sick, don't work with food. Germs can easily be spread if you're experiencing flu-like symptoms, jaundice, or other illness. If you're sick, stay home. Remember the 24-hour rule. Vomiting, diarrhea, fever with sore throat, or jaundice, stay home for 24 hours from the last symptom. If my employees are sick, I tell them to go home and come back when they feel better. It's not worth the risk. Besides being aware of your own health and knowing that when you're sick, you pose a risk to the public. Being aware of your personal hygiene is another aspect of avoiding contaminants in the food you serve. In fact, food workers with good personal hygiene save lives. Following proper hand washing protocol by washing your hands the right way and at the right times, keeping fingernails trimmed for easier cleaning, wearing hair restraints and proper work clothing, and covering cuts and burns with bandages and gloves, in addition to not working while sick. These are all ways that hygiene prevents the spread of germs in the kitchen. Hand washing is something we all learned at a very young age. But if you want to work as a food handler, it's important to relearn this task in the proper way that complies with the health department guidelines. But first, let's review when it's important to wash up. Wash your hands throughout the day, even when hands look clean, to keep germs off your body and the food you prepare. Always wash before you begin food preparation or if you've been contaminated by exposure to potential germs. Contamination can be caused by using the bathroom, touching one's face or nose, handling raw meat, fish, or poultry, sneezing, coughing, or blowing one's nose, handling garbage or dirty dishes, handling animals or using chemicals, or after taking a break, eating or smoking. If you aren't sure if a wash is necessary, wash anyway, just to be safe. Proper hand washing is a six step process that requires a hand washing sink with hot and cold running water, soap, and paper towels or other single use drying method. Step one, get hands wet to help the soap work. Step two, apply soap and scrub. Remember to pay attention to your entire hand when washing. Step three, rub your hands for a full 20 seconds. This is how long it takes for soap to kill germs. Step four, scrub the backs of your hands and between your fingers, a common breeding ground for bacteria. Scrub your forearms. They frequently touch food, food prep surfaces, and utensils. Step five, rinse hands to send the soap suds and germs down the drain. Rinse for about five seconds to fully remove the soap. Step six, after rinsing, dry hands and forearms with disposable paper towels or an air blower. Don't use cloth towels or dish rags, which can stay damp and recontaminate your hands. It's important to know that hand sanitizers may be helpful on clean hands, but are not substitutes for hand washing. In fact, in many cases, double hand washing is recommended. Always remember that hand washing is the most important food safety tool to get rid of the germs that make people ill. When in doubt, wash. But germs can remain on your hands even after washing. That's why it's important to minimize bare hand contact with ready to eat food by using utensils such as tongs, scoops, deli papers, or single use gloves. Focus on minimizing bare hand contact. Utensils, tongs, tissue paper, 
These are all acceptable when handling ready to eat foods. So you don't need to glove up as often as you think. When you do use gloves, remember it is required to wash your hands before and sometimes after proper glove use. Ready to eat foods are those served without additional washing or cooking to remove germs. They include washed produce that's eaten raw, such as sliced fruit, salads, and garnishes. Foods that will not be cooked, such as sandwiches, sushi, and deli salads. Bakery or bread items, such as breads, cakes, pies, and tortilla chips. Ice that may be used in drinks or foods that have already been cooked. Gloves can be tricky because if a food handler thinks they're using gloves correctly and they aren't, they can put the public at an increased risk by contamination. Gloves are there to protect food from germs, not your hands from the food. So remember to change them often and never wash or reuse them, especially between working with raw and ready to eat food. When you're done with them, be sure they go in the trash and wash your hands afterwards. When it comes to health and hygiene as a defense against foodborne illness, it's important to realize that personal habits affect food safety. You may not eat, drink, or use any type of tobacco in food prep areas. This is to prevent spills and reduce contamination. Use hair restraints that are intended to keep hands out of hair and hair out of food. Hair must always be restrained when working around food or in food prep areas. Hair restraints include hairnets, barrettes, ponytail holders, and tight braids. Long beards must also be restrained. Fingernails must be trimmed for easier cleaning. If nail polish or artificial nails are worn, you must wear gloves when preparing all foods, not just ready to eat foods. Rings, watches, bracelets, and all other jewelry on arms or hands must be removed during food preparation. Wedding rings may be worn if they're covered with a glove when the food worker is preparing food. Personal items like medicine, coats, and purses must be stored away from food, dishes, and linens. Let's review part two, health and hygiene. We learned that biological contamination is caused by germs on our bodies and in our environment. And that if you are sick, don't come to work. Follow the 24 hour rule and check in with your person in charge about your symptoms. Follow proper hand washing steps at the correct times to avoid biological contamination. Minimize bare hand contact with ready to eat foods. When using gloves, remember that their purpose is to protect the food, not to protect your hands. So wash your hands before and after glove use. Be aware of your own personal habits and hygiene as a defense against foodborne illness.